Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and uh, today I have a review for you of a very special candle, uh, a unicorn candle, some might say, and that is um, the Bath and Body Works Lavender Marshmallow. Now, uh, let's fast forward here a little bit. So, semi annual sale is supposed to be coming up, um, it is coming up December 26th, and about a week ago or so, um, stores started running out of candles there and this collection this lavender marshmallow is part of the sweet shop collection which was released in 2014 and hasn't been seen since um so th this collection was supposed to come out for some annual sale and it still will be coming out if any stores have any inventory left because they were put out on the shelves early because they have no inventory uh so this lavender marshmallow was part of the original collection it never went nationwide um, it was very popular. This is probably the most uh, popular and sought-after candle in this collection. Um, so I wanted to, to try it, see what all the hoopla was about. Um, but before I get into the lavender marshmallow, what it looks like, nice purple wax there, uh, let's go over the other scents that are in this collection that will be out for some of annual sale this year. So besides lavender marshmallow, we have lemon drops, honey cinnamon crumb cake, Frosted Cupcake, Pink Bubblegum, Raspberry Peach Macaroon Macaron, um, strawberry, strawberry Sorbet, and Pineapple Cream Puff. Now, Pink Bubblegum was released for Candle Day under the um, Girl Gang um, label, that, that one there. Um, these other ones have not been released uh, recently. So, let's hop into Lavender Marshmallow and see what it's all about. So lavender marshmallow, let's read the scent notes on this guy. So lavender marshmallow, the merging of two unexpected flavors, lavender and marshmallow, make this mouthwatering blend a special treat. And as you can see here, it does have the old price point of $22.50. And the, the labeling and everything here looks uh, doesn't mention anything of a uh, essential oil. It looks more like an older older one before they started adding in the essential oils. And, uh, and there's the code right there, 7238K3A3. So there's your, your label there, lavender marshmallow. Now, the original collection did come with uh, special lids. This one, not so special, just plain there. So right off the bat, when, when you smell this on cold, you get lavender mixed with a little bit of vanilla. It's not really marshmallow, per se. It's not like a campfire treats or a, a merry marshmallow. It's not that kind of gooey marshmallow. It's more of a vanilla. And there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, but lavender is definitely the dominant scent in this. And it's not an intense lavender like the lemon lavender from Yankee um, or some of the other lavenders out there. It's a subtle lavender that's pleasant mixed with the vanilla. So it's not super, super powering. Uh, it's a nice background scent. It's not going to knock you out of your house uh, like a couple of the other scents, like Lemon Lavender from Yankee. That'll kick your ass out of the house. Um, it's uh, you know, it's uh, pretty pretty intense. It smells like a like a Lemon Mister Clean type cleaner. That Lemon Lavender, gorgeous purple wax though. So this uh, three wicks, fourteen point five ounces, twenty two fifty. Uh, rumor has it they're going to be ten dollars on the first day of semi annual sale. So check it out. Um, the, I don't know if you can see on camera when this was burning, the the purple wax is kind of turning a little brown after it's been burned. Um, I could see that being an issue for some people. I mean, I don't really care how the wax looks after it burns because I don't really show them off as a decoration. I just, you know, leave them for burn there. But this turns a gorgeous shade of violet, like a, like a gorgeous translucent violet when it's lit. And I have to say, this candle, when I you know, lit it up last night, this was the quickest pulling um, Bath & Body Works 3-Wick I've seen this season. This thing pulled in maybe a half hour. It was it was that good. No issue with the wicks. No sooting, no smoke, not for me. I do burn my candles in a hurricane, so I don't know if that helped with, uh, with, with everything. But other than that, um, this is... You're going to see people talking about this. You're probably going to see um, people talking about the pink bubble gum. Um, and probably, 
maybe the raspberry peach macaron, macaroon. I I say macaroon. Um, but yeah, so that's what I have for you today. Um, I know I said I was gonna be done with videos for the week to take take the week of Christmas off. Um, but obviously, uh, Bath and Body Works kind of threw a curveball to all of us and said, "Hey, here's some sweet shop collection early." So. Uh, you'll see a lot of the other guys and girls out there reviewing uh, different aspects of the Sweet Shop collection, and, uh, and you know, uh, try them out for yourself. You know, uh, take what we all have to say, form your own opinions, and um, go go in the store and smell them. You know, I know it's a couple of days before Christmas. Uh, some stores might have them. They're currently on sale for fifteen fifty, I think, as of today, December twenty first. Um, but they should be cheaper for some annual sale, like I said, if there are any left by that point. Because people, the word is out now that people are out there getting them. So, um, alright guys, well, um, this will be my last video before Christmas, I promise you that. Uh, I will be back after Christmas with some annual sale hauls from Definitely Yankee. Uh, and possibly Bath and Body Works. And hoping for that Kringle candle sale, guys. Really hoping for it. So, uh, well, have a, a very happy holidays. Uh, enjoy the time. Um, burn some candles. Burn those Bayberry candles Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. Uh, check out my video about the Bayberry candles and the tradition behind them. It might just bring you some, uh, some good luck in the new year. So, all right, guys. Well, let me know what you think of Lavender Marshmallow and the whole Sweet Shop collection. If you've had a chance to smell them or uh, when you do get a chance to smell them during some annual sale. So always curious to see what you, what you guys have to say. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it.